Let's have a tea with poetic animals. This is the title of the 32 episode of Can I Read This Article for You? Hello. Today I invite you to have a cup of tea with me. While I share with you some trivia about poetic animals and encourage the reading of some poems from the book. I start by telling you a little about poetic animals. First, it is a useful book to motivate children and teenagers to read poetry. Later, during the school journey, this motivation can prove very useful. In fact, with the help of teacher from the, the place where I live, May Martins, uh, basic school number one, and the children of friends, it was possible to produce 32 audios with the reading of the poems by children and teenagers and the feedback was incredibly positive. If you want to see these uh, audios you can uh, look uh, uh, on the posts uh, of um, the year 2021. Second uh, point it is a book imbued with an environmental aspect focus on the preservation of species. Each poem personifies at least one animal. The main charities are 20 domestic and wild animals. And you can see some of them. And I'm going to tell them, but they are not in the alphabetic order like the um, Portuguese version. And now I say swallow, butterfly, dog, sheep, rabbit, se seagull, cockerel, cat, hyenas, jackals and vultures, lion, blackbird, ducks, Peacocks, dove, fox, mouse, reindeer, frog, and cow. The third aspect, it is a book of poetry illustrated by different illustrators and artists, techniques and sensibilities who donated their the talents for a worthy cause. And I, um, I am very grateful for this gesture. Um, the fourth aspect, it is a solidarity book taught and created to help children with cancer and their families. It is never too much to say that this publication reverts to the accredited associations and the first donation was already made during the month of August 2022. Five aspect. This is the first book published by Maria Leonor Costa, the creator of the Poesias da Nono, Nono Poetry Project. For those who don't know, Nono is the short uh, for Leonor. And those who have known me since I was a little girl or are closer to me have always called me that and I like to be called by that name. Six. It is a book that results from an ad hoc synergy of 22 
people during the month of February 2021. In the middle of the confinement period, I leave here a deep thank to all of them. 7. It is a very current book that is hardly ever out of date. It was in the 91 and the 92 Lisbon Book Fair in 2021 and 2022 respectively. Here I show a photo of my father with me in this fair. 8. It's a book that had its launching session online with an excellent video by a friend, Miguel Oliveira, and that I leave here for those who want to see or review. 9. It's a book that had its launching session in person at El Court English on September 27, 2021, I make the video available also on the blog. 10. It's a book with a preface by the writer Luisa Douglas Suarez and I'm very thankful for that because it's very <sighs> fulfilling for a person like me uh, to be um, to have a preface by a known writer like Louisa Douglas Hush. And I leave here a very a thanks to her. 11. It's a book that is for sale in several catalogues. For now it's only available on Portuguese. It's a dream. Maybe one day you can have it in English. It all depends on you. 12. It's a book published by Flamingo Publishing. I have thus highlighted 12 aspects and curiosities about a book that gave me enormous pleasure to create and about which I'm incredibly pleased when I feel that people also like the book. I will now read some poems. Now we drink a bit of tea. And I'm going to read you some poems in English that are on the blog and not in the book as you can see. And I start by reading The Neighbor's Roosters. The neighbor's roosters spend the day crowing. There are three roosters in all who start to sing in chorus. Sing alternately. It looks like they are talking. A strange dialogue that won't let us settle down. Whether at night or by day, the roosters I can hear spend the day in a fuss. Nobody can shut them up. And I'm going to, to show you the, the, the roosters. Dun, 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 dun. You can see the roosters in here. And now I'm going to read you The White Dove. Sorry, my neighbor is using the water. White Dove. White Dove, you can come to visit me. You are warning of something that I didn't know how to interpret. You were white, smooth, a snow. Your ticket, it was remarkable, remarkable and brief. You flew a lot. You landed on several overhangs, 
fell and got up. You were too beautiful. One day, you disappeared. I stopped seeing you. Sorry, dear dove, for not being able to keep you. And I'm going to show you the dove. This uh, the, the person who made the dove has a page on Instagram. She calls uh, Carterista. If you want, you can look for her. And now I'm going to read the last poem in English and the, its, uh, its title is I Kissed a Frog I kissed a frog as I read in a story despite having some fear I wipe it with a napkin I resort to memory and I try to witch the witchcraft Something didn't work. I didn't turn him into a prince. I hurriedly went to wash my mouth. The frog was not scared. I didn't even treat him badly. After all, the story was just a gossip. And I'm going to look for the frog and you can see it is in here. I'm very proud of this book as you can see in my face. And And I'm going to leave you, if you can see, Poetic Animals read in, um, in CCB. Um, I leave here an extra bonus for those who want to watch. On October 7, 2022, no, no, <laughs> was reading uh, poems in the, the uh, an initiative called Say a Poem. Uh, uh, conduced by an actor, uh, maybe you can, you don't know who it is, but he, his name is Eurico Lopes, at the Centro Cultural de Belém. Within the possibilities, I record two videos of my interventions, and uh, um, then I try to translate for you, if I have time. <laughs> now I leave you a dream. I would like to share you a dream I have concerning the book Poetic Animals to get it translated in other languages and thus help even more children. Maybe one day I can see this book translated into English. That's all for today. For those who want to contact me, I leave here my email. There it is, poesiasdanono at gmail.com. Ah, I forgot about the tea. Let me drink a bit. Ooh. Oh, my book. I will return with a new article here on Nono Poetry Blog at, and next Friday available from 6 a.m. onwards. I, hate, I hope to be able to count on you. Until then, I will be daily on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest and TikTok, since Inspire People is my mission. On Fridays, I also usually update with videos on YouTube, TikTok and with audios, podcasts on Spotify and Shore. If this article was helpful or inspiring in any way, I appreciate you to sharing so more people can be inspired. For now, I say goodbye with our usual greeting that it is 
，拜拜。